My friends, we've got a problem here today and uh, we're going to talk about it. You see, I have made some decisions lately uh, that have recently affected my entire life and uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're, yes, I'm gonna get on YouTube and talk about how my decision making has uh, affected my whole life because I guess that's what YouTube's for. I don't really know. So anyways, yeah, we've got a lot going on, a lot of stuff to get through. Uh, my life is in ruins, absolute shambles right now uh, after these decisions that I've made. And we need to talk about it and figure it out. So anyways, uh, good to see you guys. It's bad. It's really bad. Um, and you might see some crying in this video. I haven't decided if I'm going to cry yet. Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, before we get into all that, I wanted to uh, give a thank you to AJ Trucker for the $2 uh, super thanks on the last video. Wait, let me check that again. $1.99. Technically, he gave me a dollar ninety-nine, but he meant two dollars. We understand a dollar ninety-nine to be two dollars, but I didn't want there to be any confusion there when I said two dollars. So technically, a dollar ninety-nine. Thank you, AJ. Appreciate you, uh, you weird little Reddit moderator. <laughs> Appreciate you, uh, Freddie. Also, thank you for the five dollars. I got no jokes for you, Freddie, because. Uh, because I just don't this time. But thank you so much, Freddie, for the $5. Appreciate you. And a big thank you, of course, to everyone that is helping my humble little channel grow. We need like, uh, I, I forgot how to do math, but I think it's something like 600 more subscribers. That's it. And then we have reached 10,000 subscribers here on this channel. So if you enjoy the video and you haven't pushed the fucking button, go ahead and do that for me so I can shut up about 10,000 subscribers, you know? Isn't that the goal at the end of the day for me to shut up? Isn't that what we all want? Uh, but yeah, thank you to everybody that likes, comments, subscribes, everything that you do. We are growing around here. It's good to talk to you. So uh, yes, I've made a series of decisions lately, guys, that have uh, ruined my life honestly and this is one of those videos where you just need to pay attention kind of follow along with me if you don't mind uh, uh, instead of reading the title and they going fuck you you loser because that's always my favorite part of the internet is people reading a title and then saying mean shit to me damn it my damn feelings again anyways uh i am in quite the fucking predicament right now and i gotta figure out how to fix it let me tell you what i did i'll tell you exactly how i did this um the new company I came to, by the end of the week, we should have our one month review out where I will reveal the company. Uh, we'll talk about everything about it, the lanes, the equipment, the, the money. Everybody wants to hear about money, right? We all like a little bit of money in our pockets. Um, but I gotta be honest with you. I may have picked the wrong company. I know, listen, listen, listen. I need you to follow along with me on this. I may have picked the wrong company because uh, most of the time, things are little running a little too fucking smoothly around here, and I'm not sure that I like it too much. Now, the good news is today they're fucking around. I'm near Dallas, already empty, and they haven't given me a load yet, even though I've asked twice. But outside of that, outside of that, I asked once. I was lying. I asked once. I'm going to ask twice after I record this video. Um, <clears throat> outside of that. Things are running a little too fucking smoothly for me. I get a load out of Dallas, the fucking thing goes to Denver, right? From Denver, it, I, prob I normally head over to the Midwest, could be as far as the Chicago area. From there, I head to Dallas again, and I'll do that over and over and over until they find my dead body in my sleeper. That's how the end of my life is going to go. And the problem is, is with that, is most of the time, aside from today, I don't know what the fuck they're doing today, maybe trying to piss me off, I'm not really sure. But aside from all that, you know, they send me a load, they don't call me, they don't bother me, they don't micromanage me, and uh, that's causing a real fucking problem for me because I don't have enough drama in my life to make angry YouTube videos. You see where I'm going through with this? I picked the wrong fucking company. I went with a competent trucking company that doesn't harass the living shit out of me, that aside from today, normally has a load for me ready to go they're not ringing my phone off the hook 20 times a day asking me if i'm gonna wake up on time they're not doing any of that shit and it's caused a real fucking problem for me because now i don't get to rant and rave about how shitty my trucking company is acting and that's really really bad for content you understand my problem content that's why i'm here on youtube and now i'm i'm stuck with this this steaming pile of shit trucking company that just does their fucking job and doesn't give me any grief. 
And I don't know how to process it because lately, the last couple of weeks, I've been really, really struggling to come up with ideas for content for you guys because things are little, running a little too fucking smoothly around here. And I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy in the least that that's the kind of shit that I'm dealing with. I fucking knew. I fucking knew that I needed to keep doing some bullshit. You guys are in the comments, so on my ass saying, Josh, get a real job, go work for a good company, and now here I am over here picking up the fucking pieces of making good decisions, and I don't fucking like it. I knew, I knew deep down in my heart that I should have went to Western Express. I should have went to Western Express, and I should have been a trainer over there. You know the videos I get out of that? Every week I could put out, I had to kick a trainee off my truck again until the end of time. Every week we could put out a 100,000 view video about some crazy shit that's going on out there. You know, some... some guy just comes out of prison right he just comes out of prison decides he's gonna go get a cdl and he's a big motherfucker and he's like used to that that prison lifestyle and i'm five foot six i'm little little tiny josh over here right and and uh he scares the shit out of me and i think that maybe this is finally gonna be the one that kills me and somehow i make my great escape and we get a good video out of it and i'm not able to do that with such a goddamn competent trucking company that doesn't harass me 24 hours a day and it's really pissing me off. This is all your guys' fault. I blame you. I blame my comment section. God damn it. I was content. <laughs> God damn it. I was content to just fuck around for the rest of my life and work at every shitty trucking company out there and get mad and get on, on the camera and just talk so much shit about them and you guys have ruined my lives. I am the only, only, only YouTube channel in the world that will get on here and blame his viewers. You guys are in the comments saying, Josh, I know of a good company you can go work for. Josh, I know of a place that'll just let you run with all that experience you have. They'll just trust you to do your job. And God damn, if you weren't fucking right, now I gotta deal with this shit. Now I gotta act like a normal fucking person. I can't even rant and rave about shit because they're out here getting the fucking job done. Do you see why this fucking bothers me? I knew I should have went to Western Express. I fucking knew it. I'm half tempted. Oh wait, they sent me a load, these motherfuckers. Oh God damn it, they've done it again. Oh, holy shit, let's look at the load. Let's have a look at it. I don't even know what day it is. It's the 16th. We've got a load that picks up on the 17th. Okay, we can actually work with this. We can actually work with this. Maybe. It delivers the 19th in Denver. I think they just fucked me. <sighs> Let's see. Picks up the 17th, delivers the 19th. I think I just got fucked, my friends. Can I get to a calendar on this goddamn thing? I'm trying to find a calendar. Hold on, I'll be... All right, sorry. I'm a little frustrated now, but it's not the end of the world. It's just one of those things. You know, I got this quirky little thing, right? Where I look at how I'm doing on a week to week basis. And people tell me, Josh, stop worrying about how much money you make in the week. You have to worry about how much money you make in the year. But I don't, I can't seem, I got a tiny dumb trucker brain, I guess, because I can't seem to make that make sense to me. Because if you're not concerned with every week, how are you making sure the year is going to be good? But that's okay. I just, it's just a dumb quirk in my brain. All right. I was set up for a huge week right now, guys. I'm, I'll bitch about this, but I don't think it's like the worst thing ever. So I was set up for a huge week. It's always that run Dallas to Denver. That's my biggest load of the week as far as pay goes, um, because nobody wants to run into Denver. Had I loaded today or had I been able to deliver before the end of Wednesday, which is the end of our pay period, uh, I, I would have just set up a fucking monster, monster check. It's fine. It gets there Thursday morning, the start of a new pay period. So I'm starting off the next pay period with the, the big, the, the, the big load of the week that I could still come around and get that done again the next week. So there's still hope for next week uh, being really big. It's, it's, I don't know why, but it's shit like that that annoys me, but it's fine. I'm done for the day. I don't pick up till tomorrow afternoon now, um, but I might move where I'm at because I'm at this little shitty loves and I don't like it here. It's a very small lot um, and I feel like I'm going to get hit. It's fine. 
that's not the worst thing ever. I was just hoping, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys honestly, um, Friday I'm gonna put out the, the review video um, of this company right and i am going to go over money of course i'm going to do that because people want to know that and i was looking forward to being able to drop that big check on them big check right uh by the time i was able to do that video uh because um i'm nervous to do a video like that i really am i don't like talking about money people seem to uh, how would I say this? People are fucking dumb. Have you guys ever noticed that about some people? They're fucking dumb. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the over the road freight hauling market is just kind of shit right now. So it's not like we're in the market where we were making $2,000, $3,000 on a consistent basis, like we were not that long ago. And we're hoping it gets better, right? But, um, I was going to be able to drop that $2,000 check and say, look, we're doing good over here. And now I'm not able to do that. Um, but that's okay. We're still doing good over here. Um, it's just that that didn't work out like I planned. That's what I'm mad about right now, okay? Okay, I finally got to be fucking mad about something. I'm still a little frustrated about that. I would have preferred to head out today, get something there, get it done. But that's fucking okay. We'll just, the next week will be real good too. Um, but I just, I like to drive the damn truck. But you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to, I've been watching Breaking Bad again. I don't fucking know why, but I'm going to watch the hell out of that today because I got nothing else to fucking do now. Um, and that's, it's just fine. It's fucking fine. Okay. So anyways, uh, <laughs> aside from all that, um, that's not the worst thing that's ever happened to a truck driver. Oh no, I have to wait an extra day. It's 1650 to Denver plus almost 300 in fuel surcharge. So we're sitting right at right at a, a $2,000 load, $1,900, $2,000 load. I just have to wait a day to go get it. Oh no, I'll just get some time back on my clock. I have a way of turning that into a fucking tragedy for me. It's, oh God, this week was supposed to be good. I understand it's a flaw, but um, I'm doing I'm doing well here. I'm doing better uh, than I was doing at Swift. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. So hey, we live to fight another day and I'll quit bitching about that. But the main point of this video outside of that little tangent was that I am l literally running out of things to bitch about and that is sort of the charm of my videos now isn't it josh is fucking flying off the fucking handle again about whatever other bullshit that's going on and like god i need to blow my fucking life up again i need to make some drastic changes around here western express here i come or i'll go to like hurricane express or whatever that'll be fun i'll go broke over there i've just not heard good things that's all i'm fucking saying and the angry serbians haven't killed me yet so maybe i'll go to super ego and really get some fucking content out of it i don't fucking know but if shit keeps going this good it's gonna piss me off that's the problem that's the fucking problem i'm having is there's I don't know what happened today. Today was out of, I've been here three weeks, so out of 21 days, one of them gets fucked up. Hell, that's not too bad. That's not the worst statistics in trucking that I've ever fucking heard. Um, with all that said, I do want to move on to a sort of another thing that I, I have, you guys know that have been around for a long time that I've been struggling with mightily as a YouTube content creator and a damn good looking one and a very, very successful one. <laughs> there's, there's a thing that I've been struggling with and this is another point in the video where I just need you to hear me out before you think that I'm whining or whatever. I need you to hear the, the steps I've taken to uh, sort of help myself uh, with these things. Um, as you guys know, I am a very sensitive and emotional man-child sometimes, and then I get very offended when people go make videos about me, right? I get real upset. That guy said all this crazy shit about me, and that guy said all that, and I feel the need to defend myself. You guys have watched me repeat that pattern over and over and over for years, right? And I've always tried to find a way to just sort of break out of that and stop fucking paying attention to it, because we all know what the fuck it is. We all know what it is. It's a little bit of clout chasing, it's a little bit of envy, it's a little bit of, you know, if I drop that guy's name to get some views on his videos, then I'll do, we all know what the fuck it is, and it, it, it is as pathetic as it looks, we all fucking get it, right, and I have really been trying to, like, just come to terms with, as long as I'm this guy trucks, there are going to be people that make videos about me, and that's just the fucking reality of it, and I really started to evaluate the things, like, what are really the complaints, what am I doing that's so goddamn offensive here on YouTube that gets people so fired up, and I went back 
I did. I kind of tortured myself a little bit. I went back through through some of these videos and I really listened to what the people had to say because I'm a man of the people. And I, I wanted to see, is there any validity to the, the things that are going on? These, these horrible things that make this guy truck such a pain in the ass. And uh, here's where a sort of breaking point in my head happened. I hope you're still listening and not thinking I'm whining about this because this is good news, all right? This is good news for my mental health. I'm trying to be better over here, all right? But I was listening to a, a very, very angry Texan. And I don't, what, what did I ever do to a goddamn Texan to make them mad at me? It's not like I've ever talked crazy shit about Texans in my life. Uh, I've never done that. That's fucking crazy. Um, but there was this very angry Texan and he was just rambling. I couldn't understand. His mouth must have been full of chew or something. I'm not really sure. But I was able to point out one part of his video where he said, and I noticed that this guy trucks is using the color red on his borders now for his thumbnails. And I waited for the point to come after that. Oh no, what scandal is this? What does the color red mean on the thumbnail on the border? I'm not really sure. And uh, it turns out there was no follow-up point. That was the fucking point. And what I learned from that is, oh, this Texan's just learning his colors. Well, we can help him out. You know, I'm over here donating part of my earnings to charity here on YouTube. I can also do other things to help other people out. So I decided I'm going to challenge the guy a little bit. And I'm going to start using a purple border. Blue. Oh, we're going to put some blue in there, baby. We're going to get some turquoise. Yeah, we're going to get into those tough colors. Getting his, his brain pumping a little bit and we'll, we'll we'll learn him up on those colors is what we're gonna do and i'm really happy to be part of it i'm excited to be part of it i'm a, after we get through colors after we learn colors i'm thinking about putting shapes on the thumbnail we'll put a circle we'll put us a cute little triangle we will we will a uh, square a square will be fun wouldn't it so yeah we're gonna get this text and all up to speed is what we're gonna do so i was like concerned at first i'm like oh god the, what is what does the red border mean is that like some racist shit or what's going on i'm not really sure turns out it just it, maybe he's like a bull maybe he's like a bull in the you know how they they uh they do the bull fighting the color red and he just sees red and he gets all pissed off i'm not really fucking sure um but <laughs> damn it <laughs> ah, sh shit people are fucking weird man um Anyways, uh, I'm just just happy to help him, but I was say, gonna say something funny and I distracted myself. Um, so, anyways, I, I was like, I, I'm always worried. I'm like saying some racist shit on accident because you know that like we actually a lot of people do say racist shit on accident that we don't realize is racist shit because it came from like old times when when things were were different. Um, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, recently, I, I, you guys remember this whole thing where I got called a racist because I called someone a knuckle dragger? Um, knuckle dragger, I had to go look it up because somebody was like, you're being racist right now. I'm like, fuck, again, it was an accident. I swear to God, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I'm half hillbilly, half redneck, so that shit's in the blood, like I can't help it. You know, I just try not to let it out, that's all. And so I went to look it up and like knuckle dragger means like just basically a stupid or dumb person. That's all that it means. Um, I think it has a meaning in the military also, but do I look like I did any fucking military service? Look at me. I'm, I wouldn't have made it, baby. I wouldn't have made it. Um, but it, nowhere in anything that I looked up was it considered a racist term, right? And um, it made me laugh because these people were uh, calling me racist, in my opinion, by being racist. So they went and looked up the word the same way I did. And it said... Uh, that means stupid person. And they went, oh, that's racist. Wait, 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 shithead. That implies that you think a people of certain races are stupid. Why are you being a racist while you're calling me a racist? And it reminded me of the time on YouTube that I was accidentally a racist. Yeah, this is the kind of shit we do on this guy truck sometimes. Buckle up, motherfuckers. It ain't getting any better around here. I was accidentally a racist once. Um, years ago, I did a video and uh, somebody accused me of drinking the Kool-Aid, right? Drinking the Kool-Aid. And I don't even know what the video was about, but I got mad about it, right? And I fuck it because that's what I do. I get real emotional sometimes and I'm doing my best not to get on any kind of social media or the internet when I'm getting really grumpy uh, because then I just start like saying a bunch of ridiculous shit. Also after a couple beers, I've been avoiding social media after a couple beers. I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to appear to be a better person. I'm not really working on myself. I don't want you to get it twisted there. Don't fuck that up. Um, anyways, uh, 
so I got real mad because somebody accused me of drinking the Kool-Aid and I made a video and I called that son of a bitch a racist. I said, you fucking racist piece of shit talking about fucking Kool-Aid. And he goes, why the fuck would you call me racist? And I said, because that all started that, because listen, I didn't understand. I do know now. I do know now. I didn't know then. I didn't know then. Um, I thought the, the term drinking the Kool-Aid was started by Rush Limbaugh every time that he would talk about Barack Obama. You know why I thought that? Well, fuck, no one beat me up because black people like Kool-Aid, right? But who doesn't like Kool-Aid? It's refreshing, it's sugary. Uh, I drank a lot of Kool-Aid growing up. It was, what I'm trying to fucking tell you is that guy wasn't saying a fucking racist thing at all. And I was in my head, thinking, oh, is this because black people like Kool-Aid? And I was call calling him a racist because I came to that conclusion. Do you see the fucking problem here? What he was talking about was uh, Jim Jones, the cult leader, who poisoned his cult with Kool-Aid and, I don't know, maybe cyanide or something in it. And uh, basically, uh, that's the same thing. Please don't unsubscribe. This is the shit that goes through my head sometimes. God damn it. Be nice to me. Um, anyways, uh, um... This was kind of the same thing that was happening when I was uh, calling uh, a bunch of dumb hick truckers, fucking knuckle draggers, and somebody said, that's racist. And then his proof that it was racist, he said, if it's not racist, then walk up to a six foot seven black dude and call him a knuckle dragger. And I'm like, I'm not sure that that proves that it's racist. For one, six foot seven black dudes are more rare than you think. They're not just everywhere. Is this guy being a racist? All black dudes are giants now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Sounds like racism to me. So I'm not really sure. This video also uh, is probably demonetized by now. So thanks for the super Super thanks, appreciate you. <laughs> Shit, I get in a lot of trouble on YouTube these days. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, six foot seven black dudes. They're not just out there everywhere. You can just walk up to one and start talking shit. But that doesn't prove that the term is racist. If you walk up to anyone and start calling them names, turns out people don't fucking like that. And it's, they don't really care to be called names by some asshole they don't even fucking know. Uh, that doesn't make that fucking racist. What's the point of, of all of that? So when I really look through all the, the claims that, that people make about me, I learned, my friends, how fucking ridiculous it is. You know, we had the whole uh, man tantrum of this guy truck called everybody a big old fat mother effer. You did. I did. Yes, because he was being a fat motherfucker and no one else was calling him out on it. What am I supposed to do? I'm an Internet degenerate. Sorry that fat motherfucker is a fat motherfucker, I guess. Somehow that's my fault. I don't really fucking know. Um, <laughs> I didn't do it, I tell you that. Um, but I, I realized that there's not a whole lot of validity to these claims, except, you know, somebody watched a video and it hurt their feelings, and now they're making a response video to it. Fuck, that ain't my job. I can't protect everyone's feelings. And while I was on this quest to uh, figure out, navigate this, here's what I actually found, my friends. Here's what I actually found. You ready for this? I actually discovered quite a few smaller channels that have mentioned me in their videos and have said, I watch this guy trucks. I've been watching him for years and he has inspired me to finally put out some of my videos of my own. Uh, and I can just say what the fuck I think about trucking. I can say whatever my feelings are and God damn, am I proud of that. God damn, am I proud of that because years ago here on YouTube, YouTube trucking, everybody said what they were told to say. Everybody thought what they were told to think and nobody wanted to get out of line. Nobody wanted to have their own opinions because then the internet people would be really upset with them and you know how much that sucks. That's the worst thing in the fucking world in my humble opinion. Um, and my opinion is very humble if I do say so myself. Um, I think that I might be gaslighting you guys a little bit with that last statement. I'm not really sure. I'm not a smart man. Definitely, definitely might be doing that though. Anyways, um, <laughs> so what have we done in this video? Um, I accused you guys of ruining my life. Um, maybe, maybe gaslit you a little bit. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe, maybe I'm a dick. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not really fucking sure. But the point is with that is it, it just warms my heart. All these guys coming out, they want to put out videos now. They want to be able to just do their own thing. They're not afraid. They've seen this guy trucks go through it for years now, and they're going to just make their fucking videos. I fucking love you guys. Get it, motherfucker. I love you guys. Keep on putting out those videos. Keep on doing your thing, and don't worry about all this bullshit, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll always be here for you. I'm like a big shield for all the new young 
new or young trucking content creators that just want to get on the damn YouTube and speak their mind about how they feel about something. Don't worry, I'll take the bullets for you. I've been doing it for years now and I've been fucking changed around here. Um, so anyways, awesome fucking, that's the point. You all ruined my life. This video's gone on long enough. That's for damn sure. Um, congratulations to uh, Dustin Trucker Trash on passing uh, 2,000 subscribers. Um, very, very good job. And I will be keeping an eye out, keeping an eye out looking for other people that tickle my fancy a little bit and maybe we'll promote their channels too we'll see we'll see i uh, love you bye